Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what happens if you get inside the Braithwaite's secret outhouse. So funny enough, this was something I was talking about the other day, saying, oh, you know, I'm gonna have to wait till PC comes out if Red Dead Redemption 2 ever releases on that platform so that we can get inside some of these mysterious locations. Well, I was doing some research and it turns out there's two very popular wall breach glitches that are going around right now. One of them involves using your lantern, which I'll explain in a future video. And one of them involves a big animal like a wolf or a panther or a big cat or a cougar, something along those lines. And when I found out about this, the first thing I wanted to try is what's inside the Braithwaite's secret outhouse. And that's what we're gonna be finding out in this video today. Now, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below, what other locations would you like me to check out? Now, keep in mind, they have to be sort of similar to what we're gonna be looking at today, where you basically just breach through a wall. We're not gonna be able to like launch ourselves in the air to get to various heights, and we're not gonna be able to, you know, do anything superhuman. But if you have some more examples, and I have a couple that I've already done so far, let us know in the comments down below what you would like us to see get inside. So with all of that out of the way, let's begin. So for starters, you're going to need a panther, or again, a big animal like a wolf or a cougar. All of them work the exact same way. You'll see why in a little bit. So lucky enough for us, there's actually a panther spawn location very close to where we need to go. So obviously we're gonna be doing this at the Braithwaite Manor. So lucky enough for us, slightly southeast of the Braithwaite Manor and just north of Catfish Jackson's, there's this forested area. And in that forested area is a panther that will spawn 100% of the time. So if you go into this area, there's a good chance that you will find a panther and they're very easy to take out. Just use Deadeye. You do not need to preserve the quality of the panther here, so that does not matter. So really just use whatever means necessary to take it out. Now, once you've acquired the panther, here's what I would recommend doing. Obviously, put it on the back of your horse. Do not skin it. You do not want to skin the panther, otherwise you're going to have to find another one. Then we want to head to the Braithwaite Manor, and we want to head to the Braithwaite Secret Outhouse. Now, this is where I would recommend saving. So, unlike Red Dead Online, if you save in Red Dead Redemption 2, something you have on the back of your horse will remain there. So, if you mess up this next part, all you have to do is go back on your save, you don't have to go get another panther. So here's where things are gonna get a little bit tricky and it does take a couple of tries, so don't get frustrated with this. You will get better over time. From here, what you wanna do is simply place the panther in front of the outhouse. Now, I would recommend that you peek inside of the outhouse before you actually start this and I would also recommend that you inspect the site too because those are two buttons that you could accidentally hit that would mess this up. It actually led to a pretty funny glitch where like the panther was getting shoved into the outhouse sort of half moon there. But either way, pretty funny stuff. Now from there, what you wanna do is place the panther down right in front of the outhouse so that its head is relatively close to the front door. Now again, this could take a couple of tries, but you want to be on the tummy side of the panther and then you wanna start skinning it. And because the animation is going to swing Arthur around, he'll actually end up on the inside when it's all said and done. You guys can see how he swings around to the other side, and if you do so correctly, it will put you on the inside of the Braithwaite's secret outhouse. And I'm sure if you guys have been in a porta potty or an outhouse or heck, even just a stall in a public restroom, you know how tight they are. So there's not a lot of space in here. But what this does is it gives us a better look at Gertrude who is on the inside. Isn't this pretty creepy right here? You can get inside the secret outhouse of the Braithwaite Manor. And what's kind of unfortunate is she doesn't react to you in any way outside of her just counting of one, two, three, seven, six, three, her random numbers that she starts to sort of sprout off every now and then. But this is kind of interesting to see what's on the inside. Now, the first thing I noticed in particular is it looks like there are nail marks on the inside, 
which would indicate that she was trying to claw or scratch her way out. And we know that she's been locked in here by the rest of her family. So that's kind of creepy. The next thing to kind of note is that she is a little bit like deformed and demented in a little way. Like you can see that her lip connecting to her nose, that's not normal. She also has like a lot of red scarring around her face. And I don't know what that's from. Again, we don't get a lot of history on Gertrude. In fact, the only history we do get on Gertrude comes from Penelope Braithwaite, who, if you actually bring to the outhouse, will actually give you some secret lines of dialogue. We actually covered this in a video I did the other day, but in case you missed that, here's a quick refresher on the background of Gertrude. You don't want to mess around over there. That's my poor cousin. There's no help in her. Believe me, I've tried. Ah, who are you? <laughs> Who's out there? Somebody's out there. This is painful for me. Can we go? <laughs> Want a kiss? Ah! Leave her. I knew how you Braithwaite's treated enemies. Now I know how you treat Cam, too. It's a great shame on a family that's shamed already. I told myself she was better off here with family than in a sanatorium, but maybe she isn't. I'll do what I can from Boston for her. Sure you will. God damn. Okay, well, you still got a train to catch. Get me away from all this. But that's Penelope's cousin, and there's a lot of speculation on why she's in here. The incestuous history of the Braithwaites might be the reason why. You can only imagine that due to their long history of incest breeding that maybe this is what happened to her and she got stuck inside of this outhouse because the Braithwaites were maybe too embarrassed. I'm really not too sure. It really just adds to the creepiness of this entire saga. Another thing that's kind of confusing is like the pattern of her hair. She seems to be bald on the very top but have like plenty of hair on the sides. Um, it just looks kind of odd. Now, of course, in experimentation videos like this, I wanted to see what would happen if we ended up firing a gun in here or if we ended up shooting at Gertrude. Could we actually shoot her or anything like that? The answer is no. The game will physically not allow you to do harm to Gertrude. So this is just like what we experienced when we were on the outside. You could throw uh, sticks of dynamite, you could throw fire bottles at her, and it wouldn't cause any damage. So again, pretty interesting stuff. Now, if you swing your gun back and forth fast enough, you will actually be able to quote unquote hit her, but it won't do any physical damage. And if you shoot anywhere at her or inside the outhouse, you'll actually get negative honor. And this will also alert a lot of the other Braithwaite like militia people as well who will then start to come after you. I think you are invincible inside of this outhouse, but I'm not sure. Maybe the NPCs just have horrible accuracy and weren't able to shoot through that tiny crescent moon in the door of the outhouse, but I did not take any damage while I was in here and they were shooting at me for a good bit. So unfortunately, there's not anything incredibly unique inside here. I was hoping we would find like a note that she had tried to scribble on the wall or maybe there would be a unique line of dialogue that would happen if you did get on the inside. Uh, it is kind of cool to see because your view is so limited but there's nothing all that different about it, but it definitely was a fun experiment to try. Now, if you guys are interested on getting out of the outhouse, well, that's a little bit difficult. And it's another reason why I recommend saving right before you do this, because I realized I didn't have any dynamite to like just drop on the ground so I could blow myself up. So I had to go back on my save, but again, lucky enough, I saved right before doing this. So it's something I would recommend because if not, you might get stuck in here with Gertrude and I don't think anyone wants to have that happen. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know what you think about the inside of the Braithwaite secret outhouse 
in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. And as always, let me know what future locations you guys would like me to try this glitch on. I've already recorded a few more so far, but if I see your recommendation, I'll be sure to feature you in a future video. But anyways, like I said, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on the video. That'd be awesome. And to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.